Welcome back to my channel. Y'all already know what time it is. It is Monday, so it's time, but let me guess you up Monday. So, of course, y'all, we have three pals here per usual. Pile number one with the yellow highlighter this week. Pile number two with the pink highlighter. And pile number three with the orange highlighter. So, you want to meditate for a few seconds and you want to use your intuition to pick the pile or the piles if it is more than one that calls out to you. And I will see you guys at your reading. So, what gas do you need this week? Let's find out. Hey, pound number one, if you chose the yellow highlighter, welcome to your reading. Y'all know it is not a gas me up reading without the gas me up songs. We are going to see what comes out for this pile this week, okay? We have, actually I'm going to use the other playlist this week. I'm going to use pick my pick me up playlist, guys. Switch it up, switch it up. Okay, so we have um, Smile by Jay-Z. California Girls by Snoop Dogg. Okay, some of y'all might want to move to California one day. Okay. We have The Tears of a Clown by Smokey Robinson. We have Rather Be by Clean Bandit. And then we have Why Don't We Fall in Love by A. Marie. Oh, okay, y'all. I love all those songs. But those songs might either just hold an important message for you or you these are, could be songs that you're already listening to and that you already like but we're gonna get right into the cards and we're going to see what y'all need to hear for the week so let's get started y'all it's, re it's real quiet like in the backyard like it's like it hasn't been no birds or nothing this morning like it's crazy i don't know what, where they at <laughs> but we're gonna get into it we have dreams so yeah right off the back the universe is telling you not to give up okay believe in your dreams believe in your dreams until they come true okay sometimes things can take longer than we expect them to but the only way to guarantee that your dream won't come true is to quit okay so make sure you guys are believing in your dream and you're not allowing yourself to give up or think negative thoughts about it just because you know it might not be moving in the ways that you thought it should move okay we have in Capricorn, okay, yep, y'all. Y'all know Capricorn is the sign of like the work, okay? They're super ambitious, they're real structured, and they like to get the work, okay? Your goals, okay? Dedication to achieve, focusing on. So right now, you guys just need to focus, okay? Focus on your endeavors, and I'm hearing creativity too, okay? So focus just on being creative, and I'm hearing you know just living a more artistic life that's for somebody you know live life in a dramatic way <laughs> but yeah guys it's time to get to work it's time to set more goals y'all know we are in the lion's gate portal right now so really set those intentions on how you want things to move after august 8th okay we have child eternal y'all but we got it on the shadow attribute side so basically on the shadow attribute um child eternal is all about you know growing up the need to grow up okay the need to support yourself whether this be financially or you know either way that you feel like you need to be supported that you have been depending on others it's time to give up um needing to depend on somebody else for the things that you need okay i feel like this is the divine urging you to focus on your goals focus on bringing that financial stability in and all the things that you have been desiring and you know get things for yourself be independent i feel like this is the universe trying to push you into your independence and you could be you know a little bit resistant right now but you know it's really time to step into that next level into that next chapter and that's only going to happen if you know you can believe in yourself and if you can actually you know go for it like you say you gonna go for it okay we have awareness so yeah i feel like you you guys know what it is that you need to do or you could have just you know had some type of epiphany recently that you know just inspired you to you know want to grow up want to do more for yourself and want to be more independent either way i feel like you guys are seeing things more clearly now and you know you're discovering different ways to maneuver or different ways to get to your dreams or your goals that you may have not paid attention to before so i feel like yep your awareness is expanding and you're allowing yourself to be open up open up to more possibilities okay we have conflict and defeat so yeah you guys could have been through a lot of disappointment but i feel like things are changing okay the um conflict and defeat won't be for long as long as you you know are doing the necessary work okay don't just not do anything and just think being patient and just waiting around is gonna get you your goals you actually have to you know go for it you have to manifest and you have to actually put in the work okay guys so 
conflict and defeat is coming to an end because you're more aware of the things that you are doing or the things that you could do to be in a better split space okay we have disruption so yeah girl how i don't know what um happened or what went on y'all know of course it's different for everybody but this could also be about uh, um you coming to you know terms with something that happened and you finally accepting like a, a disappointment that happened or a disruption that went on in your life okay and that is why excuse me <laughs> sorry guys and that is why you are able to move forward as well maybe some of you guys just you know had a conversation with somebody or somebody just you know spoke up to you i'm hearing apology as well um somebody could have owed you an apology and just have just gave you that apology and that closure that you needed um to move on from this disruption and this defeat okay we have thinker oh my god y'all been in y'all heads lately haven't y'all y'all have really been in y'all heads i'm hearing new new trying to find new ways like new ways of doing things new ways of being y'all know take it how it resonates but you know this thinking has actually been good for you i'm seeing okay this thinking has brought you to a lot of conclusions that you needed to come to before you were able to move forward okay and the reason why things are happening as fast as you it, they may not be happening as fast as you want them to because you know you still have some growing up to do okay the universe don't want to give you too much you know while you're still doing this growing up because when they give it to you they want you to be able to keep and maintain it so you know sometimes not getting the things that we want when we want them is actually a blessing in disguise and it's the universe looking out like hey you know you're not quite ready for this right now you still got this stuff to heal and work through but when you are you're going to be able to handle it and it's going to be so much better because you'll be in that state in that mindset to be able to keep what it is that you were blessed with okay we have yang y'all so yep it's time to take action y'all know yang is the masculine energy the masculine energy is all about you know action like going for you see this big ball of energy it's like putting your energy giving your energy to the things that you want to see grow and come into fruition okay we have financial constraints yep this is definitely about money okay guys so you guys could be thinking a lot about your money but with this child you turn to here in reverse this is definitely saying y'all y'all need to really 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 start pursuing your you guys this financial independence okay the universe is calling you to be independent you know in the ways that you earn so that nobody can take anything away from you okay we have appreciation but you know while you're working towards you know this new version of yourself this new mindset being able to be financially independent appreciate everything that you have okay while you have it be gracious the only, the way to get more things from the universe is to be grateful for the things that you already have universe not um up here sending blessings and you know giving you things if you're not already accepting and already appreciative of what it has already given given to you why would it give you some more you know so you guys make sure that you are appreciating everything that you have and everyone that's in your life that's helping you as well okay we get what i just say y'all community appreciate the people around you okay appreciate the people that support you and you know you know wake up and realize you know everybody don't have people supporting them everybody might not have a support system or you know um somebody to come and talk to that they trust so if you have that in your life you know be grateful for it be grateful that there's people that you can lean on be grateful that that there's people that you can ask for things that you know you don't have that you need okay and you know you know if you don't have this in your life you know manifest it okay you can manifest friends you can manifest supportive people okay you can manifest mentors you can manifest your whole soul tribe okay it just you know takes you know you <laughs> like i said make sure y'all put in the energy into the thing that you want to see grow so if you want to see your social life grow you know you want to see your support grow put energy into that as well we have a time for healing yep so something definitely went on y'all like i said it's different for everybody but you are healing you are recovering and i feel like you know the main thing that is being healed of course is you know but the this, these financial constraints and your lack mindset okay if you uh, you know were operating from a lack mindset you may have not even known like you know how to be financially in, financially independent or how to earn the money that you wanted to earn but i feel like that mindset is being healed now and you're being turned into more of a hard worker rather than a hoper and a wisher and a dreamer okay we have it's time to release negativity full moon and scorpio guys so yep release whatever this is that went on in the past whatever it is that has been weighing on your mind for so long it's time to let it go okay the lessons have been learned and now you're ready to take action okay we have yep ace of wands so i feel like 
y'all this car is really just making me think y'all know i heard epiphany at the beginning like some type of like you know just change within like your mental or changing like in your head space and look both of these cards like a light where the third eye chakra is okay so your vision is getting clearer as well and you know ace of wands you know this is the beginning this is something new this is the start of a passionate new pursuit okay we have seven of cups so yeah i feel like this is the beginning you guys are going to start making better decisions okay you're going to start making decisions that actually fit the life that you are trying to live okay you will see balance in the home life if th this has recently been out of order maybe this disruption and this conflict and defeat could have been you know in the home or within some type of group but, but know that that is all coming to an end things are being healed but just have patience because you know nothing happens overnight and then we have ten of wands yep yeah, you could have even felt you know weighed down or overburdened like i'm feeling like this is more so being overburdened with your thoughts and just being stuck in your head and just not believing that things are ever going to go right because they haven't been going right for so long that is what you guys are healing and you are moving away from that on to thinking you know things can go right on to thinking that you deserve the things that you desire because you do okay we have bomb okay so i'm taking this as the universe like blowing up and destroying all the things in your life that no longer need to be there all the things blocking you from your financial abundance okay we have shots here but i'm feeling like this is more so like take a shot or maybe even some of you guys have been you know you've been going out recently or just been you know hanging with the fam or your friends okay and, you know this is saying you know you can do that but make sure you party just as hard as you work you know what they say work hard play hard but you know do it the opposite especially if you're trying to break these cycle you got to work a little bit more harder than you play right now just a little bit y'all we have um air signs so you guys could also be gemini libra aquarius okay or maybe this conflict and um disruption was in uh, had an air sign gemini libra aquarius involved or this could just be in your chart or in this person's chart or these people but y'all we have knight of gabriel confident enthusiastic courageous and charismatic time to take action great passion for a cause instinctively knowing just what to do so you guys all i gotta do is take the first step the universe will put the right situations and the right people excuse me in your path at the right time okay you just have to take action and just know that everything is going to work out for the best okay some of y'all action like y'all keep burping like <laughs> getting these small burps in like my throat chakra so some of y'all action might literally be speaking up to somebody and i'm hearing help so maybe you need help to you know get started on this journey to you know being independent but of course like i said it's nothing wrong with asking for help but it's time to take action and stop letting you know Things pass you by, especially opportunities that could be good for you, okay? So, we have Queen of Raphael. Kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. Follow your heart. A love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information, okay? So, yeah, guys. Follow your heart. And like I said, that home, if it, if this was a disruption in the home or, like, within your family or, like, I'm mean, even hearing somebody, um, somebody's parents could have wanted them to move out or just, you know, wanted them to be financially, more financially stable, like, on their own. Or maybe somebody's parents want to cut them off or just, you know, y'all y'all know along that storyline. But either way, y'all, it's how to follow your heart and just know that all the problems within your home life, if there were any, are coming to an end as you step out of your comfort zone and begin to pursue your independence more okay so that is what i'm getting for you pal number one if you enjoyed that reading don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one peace hey pal number one. Oh my god pal number one this pal number two damn y'all i'm sorry <laughs> hey pal number two welcome to your reading if you chose the pink highlighter you know this is your reading this your style we about to get right into it y'all but First, y'all know it's not a Gas Me Up reading without the Gas Me Up songs. So we're going to see what songs come out for power number two this week, okay? And these could just be songs that you already like or that one of these songs will just hold an important message for you. So let's see what comes out, guys. We have Into You by Fabulous and Tamia. We have Congratulations by Post Malone. We have Nice For What by Drake. We have Bitch from the South <laughs> by Mulatto. And we have Did It On Him by Nicki Minaj. Okay, that was an interesting mix of songs. But, y'all know, um, we're going to get right into these cards. And we're going to see what y'all need to hear this week, okay? 
I feel like I don't know. I don't want to jinx it. I feel like this might be my love, pal. <laughs> but let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. We got originality. Okay, blaze your own trail. So, y'all, off the bat, y'all, be yourself, okay? Just be yourself. Just, you know, be cool. Be yourself. That's all I'm hearing. Like, of course, you know, be original, like, in your pursuits and your creativity. But, like, I'm hearing this more so, like, if somebody just needing to relax and to just, you know, be themselves. Like, accept yourself for who you are. Like, you, um, don't need to fear being your complete 100% authentic self around the people that are meant to be in your life, okay? That's how I'm going to say it. You know, if and if you feel like you got to fake it or put on, you know, a facade to be around somebody, then that just means that they're not on your true path, okay? That means you need to get away from their ass because the people <laughs> that are meant for you will love you for exactly who you are and you won't have to change anything, okay? Well, maybe, you know, change it within growth, but like, you know, they won't try to change you, okay? Because they already accept you and love the person that, you know, you are. So we have third house, okay, y'all. We got Gemini energy in the building, okay. So a couple of you guys could be Gemini's, but you know, the third house talks all about you know your ideas and you know communication and you know picking things up, like starting really to get your you know ideas and your plans into motion and starting to you know put in the work, okay. And then also, you know, um, the third house represents. Gemini and Gemini is ruled by Mercury and Mercury is the planet of the mind and communication okay so some of you guys could even be making new connections in the future okay I'm here in the near future so you know just by being yourself you attract people you attract your soul tribe and you attract the souls that are meant to be in your life okay so we have poet okay so it's on the light attribute side so expresses soul insights in symbolic language okay so some of you guys could literally be poets or you could be some type of writer but i'm just feeling like a lot of love like you guys like you guys like to give off a lot of love maybe you guys are actually content creators like i said you could be you know a writer of poetry you can even just write books and you know people feel love like when they read your content or your material okay because you're just so original okay people like love your mind your thoughts and your ideas okay so keep it up with that if this part is resonating for you okay people are in love with i'm hearing speaking as well with this in the third house just like you know the things that you say you know i'm hearing how you get your points across i'm just getting like a person that is just really expressive Hmm, y'all are gonna be expressing yourselves a little more this week or maybe some of you guys even just want to start writing poetry for fun or journaling or something like that we have sacral chakra oh my god y'all literally y'all this is the literally divine asking y'all to get more creative this week i'm feeling like if y'all already are a writer try writing something this week okay like y'all gonna write something that's like really good really bomb like i feel like y'all creativity is going to be at a really really high peak this week okay so you know take it take the time to sit down jot some things down even if you just journal maybe you could even brainstorm some ideas of some things that you are wanting to work on but this is like the a powerful Feel like the universe telling you to like connect with your creativity and you know get back to what you know you love i'm feeling we have truth yeah and then also living your truth guys living your truth speak your truth all that shit like i told y'all the people that are meant to be in your life will just be attracted to your life will just be with just you being you okay and just you living in your truth so do not be afraid to i'm here and be accepted maybe y'all are afraid that people won't accept you on some level or somebody won't accept you or a few people could be two to four people um but either way you guys living your truth like if they don't accept it fuck them okay that's just out on that we have spiritual union so a couple of you guys could be entering into a spiritual union very soon and maybe that's why the divine wants you to you know just be yourself okay maybe you can't you know in a spiritual connection you can't really you know like fake around somebody so like this is the universe trying to get you out your shell and to just accept yourself i'm feeling like okay and then we have two 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 so the number two could even be important to a few of you guys as well 
and then we have balance and balance is the car 11 so like that's awesome too so two could definitely be important for somebody or maybe this is talking about two weeks or two months y'all take it how it resonates something important can happen y'all i literally i've been feeling like so good about the month of september recently like i just know like september is going to be a bomb month okay especially if you have been you know beginning to work on like i said these creative pursuits like things are really going to start taking off in september so just find this balance okay and go for it i'm feeling like we have exchanging gifts so i feel like like if you if you are a writer you guys like your ability to write and to create and to connect with other people with this third house is your gift okay that is your you know divine gift you know and that is something that will help you fulfill your purpose okay so you know take all the gifts that the universe gives you and be grateful for them okay a lot of y'all really i'm hearing away with words away with words so a lot of y'all really have a way with you know just like communicating i feel like y'all could be even mercury or virgo gemini's okay we have happy happy so yeah y'all the more y'all create okay the more y'all get back to yourselves and what y'all love to do the happier you will become the more fulfilled you will be okay we have message in a bottle okay so somebody could even send you a message this week telling you their truth or this is about you sending somebody a message to tell you your truth i just heard mom 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 <laughs> so some of you guys could definitely be coming into contact with your mom and i also just heard reconciliation so if that's you if you've had a couple problems with your mother and you guys you know you know want to reach out you know do it or if you know she's going to reach out to you there's going to be a truth spoken here doesn't have to be necessarily a mom but that's for you know somebody specific but either way pretty soon a message is going to either come into your phone or either go out from your phone and you're going to be telling your truth or receiving receiving somebody else's truth okay that message has been coming out a lot lately guys literally like a lot a lot we have yeah y'all this is beautiful y'all could be like really connecting with y'all feminine energy like i told you i'm feeling like love like okay like spiritual union is one thing but like if you're like a feminine energy like and with this poet card and like happy happy like all the pink i'm just getting like like love like you're like finally getting more in tune with that feminine energy i'm like like i'm seeing like soft things like fuzzy and like pink pillows and like all that stuff <laughs> like so a couple you guys could even like things like that but i'm just like getting like somebody is getting more in tune with their feminine energy and you know just being the divine feminine that they were born to be okay so maybe that's a truth that you guys accept as well like maybe you guys are accepting like your amazingness and your greatness and you're finally being able to you know unblock this sacral chakra it could have been blocked before guys and that is why you're being able to be more creative and get more in tune with this feminine and this nurturing side okay a couple of you guys could even be cancers i am hearing okay but we have a higher power here so the higher power is like working out some faith events in your life okay the higher power is bringing you signs on how to be more creative okay the higher power is putting different things on your path in order to get you to wake up and see things you may not have seen before okay the, the, the higher power is also giving you strength to be able to speak your truth and i'm hearing courage for somebody as well we have victory yeah. so y'all y'all got to be very 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 victorious at something maybe it's what you are working on maybe this is one of your ideas okay maybe some of you guys could even be about to release something a creative project or something that will be a victory but either way guys prepare for good things to happen okay this could even happen within the next 28 days i am here we have second chakra archangel Ariel. oh my god y'all we have the second chakra twice sacral sacral y'all y'all creativity is about to be through the roof this week if it has not been already like i'm feeling like this is like the beginning of like your next like level of like creativity and like just being able to produce like amazing and awesome content and things if that is what you do okay um if you do not you will just start becoming more victorious at being able to express yourselves in a ways that in a way that others can receive it okay so yeah and you guys um y'all know the sacral chakra also um controls like our sexual energy okay so like maybe you guys you know you're just being more sensual with yourself like i said with this feminine energy just loving yourself more and you know 
I'm just I, like y'all. I'm just like I'm feeling weird, but I don't know how to explain like how I feel. Like I don't know. I'm just getting like I just feel like happy. I'm just getting like a like a loving energy. Like somebody has finally like come to like a a, a realization or like a, a a turning point where like things are gonna start going way better than they were going. I don't know. I'm just getting the feeling, y'all. So we got daughter romance. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Here we go. What I say, y'all? I feel like this is gonna be a little bit of a love message in this pal. But yeah, y'all, door to romance. This truth in this message could even be about somebody coming through a love interest, telling you how they feel. Um, so yeah, y'all. If that resonates, stay on the lookout for that. But you guys, either way, like I love this energy. Okay, like I'm just feeling like a real like <sighs> confidence. That's the word confidence in love after a period of you know not feeling the best about yourself we have two of wands yep i see y'all making better choices starting off on a new path we have aries leo sagittarius energy okay oh i forgot this card y'all sorry we have yep what i said i told y'all it could be some cancers out there that's watching this a personal issue reaches resolution exactly y'all like i just felt like it was a turning point okay something happened something changed a realization epiphany whatever you want to call it any of that and like it has propelled you into this next level but the universe is asking for you to receive it okay you have to use this energy while you can create while you can and like i said the more you create and you know put yourself out there the more you you know are fulfilled in what you are doing you know the more gifts you get from the universe the more energy you get to you know use on your projects the more creativity that you get as well okay so this personal resolution oh i'm sorry y'all this personal issue is coming to a resolution or has come to a resolution so that you can i'm hearing begin again dust yourself off and try again <laughs> We have Page of Pentacles. Yep, so this could definitely be about a new project that you are starting. Or I'm hearing release. So this could be a new project that you are about to release very soon. Okay, also Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the moon here, but it is in reverse. So like, y'all strong on the Cancer energy and Pisces as well. But like with this being in reverse, y'all know upright, the moon is about hidden secrets and you know, you know, just the darkness. So with this being in reverse, I feel like something either something came to the light or something is about to come to the light with a certain truth okay and then we have a nine of wands but this is the universe telling you not to give up aries leo sagittarius energy again do not give up keep going guys things happen in divine timing as they should okay never feel like you are behind you always are right on time for your own path okay excuse me we have a wishing on a star so some of you guys could definitely have been setting new intentions wishing okay and y'all about to receive some wishes i'm hearing especially with this card being right over victory i feel like the better and better you get with making decisions you know the better things will come into your life because i'm getting that strongly like somebody is deciding to finally make better choices okay we have abundance yep so making these better choices as well will bring this money that you desire but i'm also hearing with this project y'all this project about to bring you some money okay if this is you like you about to get paid honey okay that's just that on that like okay and then we have super base so yeah y'all this pal this is my little like love mix pal so y'all gonna get the love that y'all desire yes okay y'all have somebody that make y'all heart beat fast or whatever <laughs> and y'all will get this abundance it's like wishing abundance and love so i feel like you could have even been wishing for like more money and wishing for love and like you're gonna get both okay things are being uncovered we have six of Ariel. Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart, y'all. So be grateful and just know, y'all. Like I told you, that money is coming. Like I feel like, like you could get money from this project, but like I feel like it's some it's some whole other money that you about to get that don't even got nothing to do with that. That's gonna be like a surprise. Like dang, like what I get this for? And it's gonna be something that you could have either forgot about or just like a I don't know. I'm just hearing like you know some money that you weren't expected is gonna come through and it's gonna help you out with something that you have been struggling with and look we got the sun so boom 
Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of of positive thinking and inspiring success, y'all. So, yep, y'all about to be successful. Y'all about to be victorious or whatever. So, you know, do what y'all got to do. And for the person that needs to call their mom, call your mom, okay? Or call whoever it is that you need to call or message whoever it is that you need to message because, you know, that is part of the next step in your journey, okay? Especially with this communicate card. You know, be open to expressing yourself more and communicating. But y'all, that is what I am getting. This was an interesting pile, but I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you did. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Hey, pile number three. If you chose this orange highlighter, welcome to your reading. We better to get right into it. Of course, y'all know it is not a gas me up reading without the gas me up song. So we are going to see what songs comes out for you guys today. And this song, these songs can either just hold an important message for you or these could just be songs that you already like. But we about to see the five songs that come through for pile number three. So we have Believe Me by Lil Wayne and Drake. We have Ultra Light Beam by Kanye West. We have All Falls Down by Kanye West. We have Get Me Body by Beyonce. And we have Who Run It by Lil Herb. Or Herb, or G Herb, or whatever y'all call him. Y'all from Chicago, so I say Lil Herb or Herb, but y'all know. To each his own. Either way, we about to get into this reading, okay? So, first card we have is money oh y'all know what i heard um what's that song we don't love them by rich pablo wine is that his name rich pablo wine um that money go where i go y'all i'm hearing that song in my head so a couple of you guys might like that song as well but y'all it's time to get to the money and i'm also hearing uh everybody mad by ot genesis so y'all i feel like y'all gonna be either finding new ways to make money and create this abundance or y'all gonna be um you know tending to the ways and the things that you already have had in place in order to generate more money okay so it's either about creating new streams of income or just putting more energy into the ones that you have already created either way it's time to find your way to abundance okay so we have in the fifth house okay do it dramatically fun romance making art your creations y'all know the fifth house also represents leo energy so y'all know it is time to step into that confident creative and create courageous leo energy okay do it dramatically okay do things originally it's okay to get inspired by somebody else but make sure you do things in your own way and i am seeing that this creativity and your endeavor and your endeavors are about to show you the way to this financial abundance that you have been desiring okay we have samaritan so light attribute refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore okay you guys so this is letting me know that you guys are going to get a blessing in disguise through helping somebody else so if somebody needs your help or somebody asks you for something that you can help with you know this week or just you know anytime to be honest make sure you help them out because you never know how your good karma is going to come back okay so if somebody is needing you and you're able to help them just help because you know think about it as well if you were in the same situation as them if the roles were switched you would want somebody to help you as well so you know help when you can i'm not saying deplete yourself okay you know don't pour from an empty cup but help out when you can because you never know how things can come back and it's not all about things coming back you know you know do things just from the goodness of your heart but you know Either way, the energy you put out is the energy you're going to return, get returned back, okay? Just remember that, guys. Don't do things to get, you know, rewards back. But just know that that is definitely, you know, good karma coming back when and if you do that. We have emotional loss. Hold on, y'all. What's going on? Something happened? Something happened, y'all. Emotional loss. Let me pull the next card and see what is going on accelerate emotion okay so some of you guys are moving past heartbreak okay i feel like this is this could be you helping yourself as well i feel like you guys could have even felt stuck for a little bit or like i'm hearing couch or like i'm just seeing somebody sitting on the couch like you just could have felt stuck or you just could have felt like there was no hope or like you couldn't you know get this abundance that you wanted but it's like 
things change like you move forward quickly this kind of even reminds me of like the sun or like leo energy i feel like that's what it is maybe you were heartbroken before or like something happened but like since leo season has come around things have just been taken off and you're just realizing more than you have in the past okay and now that you're able to you know get up and get back in action the ways in the past so the money are going to start being revealed to you okay we have positive moving forward so yep definitely y'all there was a loss here could have been um eight months ago or within the last eight months okay i'm hearing eight that could also be august could have happened last august or in the month of august but either way you guys you are moving on from something in the past that that could have hurt you and could have made you stagnant for a little bit and you guys look again there's the sun <laughs> the sun and the star so yeah guys y'all are moving forward y'all are moving on from this emotional loss into your happiness okay you have we have the waiting game okay so yeah I feel like you guys could have been waiting on this. Could have just like, like I said, been from some time ago. Like y'all have been waiting to heal. Like y'all have been desiring to move on from whatever the situation is. And I'm hearing up in the air. So something could have even been up in the air and just had you waiting for like so long on like the next step or the next thing to do. Or like maybe you were just confused yourself. But now, like I said, y'all are moving forward with this positive movement forward and accelerated emotion. Hearing the wait is over by Rihanna, okay? We have financial and material changes. So, you guys, the more you help others, okay, the more you make other people's lives better, the more you will receive these finances that you are de desiring, okay? The more you help others, the more the universe helps you. We have to the sea. But this is letting me know, like, yeah, there could have been, like, a period of sadness. And there could have just been, like, you know you didn't like know what to do you could have just been like i'm here i'm getting like kind of like a i don't want to say hopeless but like i almost want to say like a you know somebody almost giving up hope like something hurting somebody and like you know you just kind of like checked out i'm hearing but y'all it's time to pick back up it's time to go with the flow okay it's time to sail away you see they both on boats okay a couple of you guys could even you know have been on boats recently or y'all you, you guys are about to get on a boat i'm hearing for somebody specific okay you're gonna have some fun and i'm hearing cruise as well so maybe you got some of you guys are even going on a cruise pretty soon but either way you guys it's time to begin going with the flow of life again okay it's time to check back in because it's some blessings that the universe has been desiring to give to you okay we have by the book okay so guys make sure you are doing things right make sure you are thorough in all of your dealings okay make sure you guys are also you know accepting help and allowing others with more experiences in certain areas than you especially like if this has something to do with like your business or like your endeavors like make sure you guys like maybe get a mentor or make sure you just um if you're needing help with something or you want to know the answer to something and there's something somebody around you that has more experience or that can help you make sure you guys are asking for help or just asking for clarity okay because you never know how you know one conversation with somebody can change your like entire way of thinking and your entire process and even make things better for you or your business or whatever it is that you have been um doing to you know generate this money that you are desiring to bring into your life okay we have deceit so y'all somebody betrayed y'all it was some type of deceit here maybe it was some type of heartbreak and like you guys were just stuck on it or you were stuck in the situation for a long time or just like a while and like now you guys are finally able to move forward okay somebody could have betrayed you i'm here at heartbreak hotel <laughs> somebody could have be like betrayed you a relationship could have gone sour um let me get another card, y'all. We have Karen. Yep, Karen connections. A relationship um, could have went a different route than you expected it or you imagined it to. But I'm hearing strength. Like there will be strength from this heartbreak. Like you will gain something from this. Okay. So, like y'all, I'm sorry. Like I feel like you guys are definitely working on healing. If not, like you're almost done. Like that's what I said. Like y'all literally probably like been waiting like to heal or been like waiting to move forward or just feeling like stagnant or like stuck or confused. But like y'all it's coming, okay? You will recover from this. You will move on. And I'm hearing to tell somebody you will find love again, okay? We have yep, doors of personal healing and happiness. But this thing, if this was a relationship that ended, it needed to end, okay? And I feel like you could have been really helpful to this person with this Samaritan here. Like maybe you even like were really helpful and you could have even gave this person money with financial and material changes. 
but yeah some of you guys yeah y'all will be releasing or like healing from this connection and moving on to this door to personal healing and happiness because you deserve it okay you deserve it i'm definitely getting like strong betrayal here but like there's going to be a blessing coming within your finances very soon okay we have adjustments are required third quarter moon so you know make the changes that you guys know i'm hearing you already know what changes y'all need to make or y'all know what y'all need to do so make those necessary adjustments okay and then y'all look new moon and taurus so it could be some Taurus is watching this but either way prosperity lies ahead for you guys so you know just continue to be patient continue to heal and continue to move forward okay we have nine of pentacles so like I said, y'all, patience, patience, patience. This is also Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but this is something happening slowly, okay? A project or endeavor, like this is somebody taking their time. Slow and steady wins the race, okay? We have Page of Cups. Okay, y'all, so remember I told y'all y'all gonna find love again? Well, y'all gonna find love again. We got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy in the building, but this is also like a, it could be like a romantic offer. <laughs> So guys, yeah, like, um, don't fret if this was about like a, a, um, a, a relationship that ended or some type of betrayal or some type of heartbreak because there will be new love coming in, okay? We have eight of wands, so y'all it's time to take action, it's time to take action towards your stability, I'm hearing. <laughs> it is time to adjust your life it's time to adjust your habits and everything that will you know make earning money for you easier okay so yep y'all take action do what y'all gotta do i'm here to ask for help too but y'all there will definitely be wishes coming true for you for all that you had to go through you will receive your wish of money you will receive your wish in love okay but remember divine timing on the universe's time not your own okay we have message here so okay somebody can even message y'all soon okay <laughs> or maybe y'all are uh, going to come into contact with somebody that could either be a love interest or this person that could help you out in the future or maybe somebody could be even be messaging you to ask for help or maybe you want to ask somebody for help and if you do this is the sign to do so okay i'm here and they could definitely put things in perspective we have yes so yep just confirming what i said y'all y'all about to move forward okay y'all about to start taking more action or whatever i'm proud of y'all for getting through this and being able to move forward on to bigger and better things and y'all really deserve all the blessings that are about to come to you guys i'm telling y'all it's gonna be big it's gonna be lovely it's going to be nice okay last but not least we have the chariot so cancer energy all right determination and self-control career advancement acknowledgement of success by others y'all look the chariot is about the car of moving move forward okay then you got positive movement forward then you got accelerated motion so y'all this waiting game is over okay you waited long enough you healed you did what you had to do okay it's done i feel mean, like y'all like definitely healed it so now all this is rolling around y'all and y'all are about to like move forward very 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 quickly okay things are going to take off faster than you expect it maybe it'll start with the message as well and then we have nine of michael your worry is unnecessary y'all focus your thoughts on your outcome you desire release feelings of regret guilt or worry to your angels y'all so y'all worried about nothing if y'all worried about something okay things are going to happen as they should focus on the positive okay but just know like if y'all over there in y'all heads y'all overthinking something y'all worried about something just stop it okay because it's working out okay just because it's like i said it's not working out the way you want it to work out or the way you envision it don't mean it's not working out in an even better more fantastic magical way okay so that is what I'm getting for you, pal number three. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.